I'm Anna Frost, I'm from New Zealand and I'm here again in La Palma. For me, Transwakania is um, a really special place, it's got a great energy, um, it's more than just a race, it's the island, it's the course, it's the people, um, it's the competition that come, um, yeah I just love it here. I've just had really good days on the race days, um, I've felt good, I mean I had to push hard but um, I had a good time. Um, but I really think that maybe this year with slightly cooler weather, with a really, really good group of women this year that maybe can push together, um, that we might see the record go down. The years that I've done the record, I've been on my own. Um, so it's been really like a self-motivation to, to push through that. But um, yeah, I really think this year, if there's a group of girls that can work together and help each other and encourage each other, then um, I think that it's going to be that's going to be how we're going to get a faster time. Yeah, a team effort and um, you know we're all friends really in this scene. We're not enemies, we're, we're com competing against each other but um, if I see one of the other girls having a really great day and winning, I'm going to be extremely happy for her. So um, yeah, it's all about all of us working together and, and pushing forward for a, for a good race and a good, a good time. I love it, it's a passion and, and I want to be trail running, I want to be exploring and um, not only is trail running my passion but traveling is and so they work really well together. You can see so much more when you explore a city by running or explore the mountains by running. Um, and I think I've kept healthy, I've kept fit, okay I've had some injuries but um, in the end it's the passion that's won through that has kept me running. Like anything when it gets something that you love gets taken away from you it's really hard it's hard to deal with it's hard to cope with it's hard to get through um, it's hard to understand and um, once you get the understanding of why you're injured and how to get through it um, everything makes sense and um, in the end for me it was just accepting that running really is just running um, sure it's a passion it's what I do but it's not who I am and so as soon as I accepted that, um, I was able just to put it, put running in its place and continue living as who I was. It could be anything, it could be overtraining, it could be stress. Um, I think emotionally and physically we're connected, of course, and so when maybe a relationship is not going well or um, you're fatigued from too much travel or from too much work, then of course your body is going to say, well, I'm tired, I need a break. And so it holds on to a little bit of a weakness, a bit of a pain. And um, in the end, things break down until you really deal with what's at the bottom of that. I knew that if I was patient and did my rehab and took a good break, then I'd be able to come back to running. Um, I never knew if I'd come back to racing. Um, and that wasn't really an issue. For me, the important thing was that I race, uh, that I could run, not racing. Um, so even now, if someone said to me, you can never race again, but you can run for the rest of your life, I'd say, fine, done. Um, so this, it was nice to be able to come back to racing as well. You need to have balance from your food, from your nutrition, from your rest, from your recovery, your training, your family life, your free time, a hobby, something different. It needs to be um, a world that's very whole and content. No, New Zealand is amazing for trail running. It's got some of the best trails in the world, but um, it's very hard to travel from New Zealand to a race in Europe every month. So um, for me, it's, it's better just to stay in Europe and travel and call somewhere like La Palma my home for a month and then go to the next place and call that my home for a month. It's right from when I started 12 years ago, the, the level of the women was really, really high um, and it remains high and I think it's just um, now you can race all year long. You can race in December or you can race in January or you can race in July. Um, and so it's really just which women are on form, or men as well, which, which person is on form for whichever race, which race they're focused on. Um, so yeah, I, I, this year I would say it's probably one of the strongest and deep fields for both men and women. It's different now. Before I was very, very competitive. I was racing for New Zealand in the short mountain running world champion series. And, um, and I was very focused on racing, racing, racing. And now... Um, my focus has maybe changed to more exploration, more personal challenges like fastest known time attempts, 
um, and really looking at uh, what could I do next other than running. Yeah, absolutely, there's many, many directions that trail running can go in organising or encouraging children to participate or designing more product, shoes, bags, clothes. Um, trail running is a very, very wide open scene. It's not so much about how I train, but how I feel about my training. So if I'm enjoying my training, then it's so much better. If I'm not enjoying my training, if I'm tired, then I take a break, I do have a rest, I do something different. From when I um, decided that running was just running and um, that I was gonna keep that separate from who I actually was, then yeah, I've really loved my training. Of course, I get tired and some days I, I'm saying, oh man, I just wanna have a rest. And so maybe I'll just have a rest. Um, but yeah, I still love doing the, the hard training sessions. It has to be specific. So if you're doing a 100 mile race, then you obviously need to get in some longer miles. If you're doing a 10 kilometer trail race, um, you maybe need to do some more speed work. Um, in all my training, no matter if it's short or long, I like to keep hill repeat sessions in there. I love those. They're really good for strength, for speed, for um, endurance strength. Um, and I think it's going out with someone, having fun out on the trails, out there with them, um, exploring new trails, keeping it fresh and keeping it passionate. It's a love-hate relationship. Um, I'm not very good at social media. It's not something that I would choose to do, but um, it's part of sharing our sport. And I know that through social media, we can inspire a lot of different people. And, and through that, I can be inspired by them back. So. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great way to share the beautiful places that I go to, the beautiful ideas and, and even events like this where we can see, oh yeah, there's all these people coming and have a great time together on social media. For me personally, I, I don't run for the social media. I run for the peace and quiet of being in the mountains and the peace and quiet. So um, yeah, I, I, sometimes I think that maybe there is too much too much social media, but um, it's part of our sport growing, it's part of our sponsors growing, and so um, I accept it for what it is. Uh, I think it's the exploration for me that um, I can see a lot in that time, I can experience a lot physically and mentally in that time. Um, it's just a new challenge, you know, it's been 12 years, and so to stay in one distance for 12 years would have been, maybe I wouldn't have continued running, but I've been able to find a lot of new things.